since every country on earth just disappeared overnight. And it's now the 50 US states job to recolonize. Well, 50 US states and uh, Puerto Rico that is down here. The problem is many of these places will not be peaceful. There's gonna be a ton of infighting for this stuff over here. I just remembered I do not have Hawaii. Okay, let's make Hawaii real quick. Okay, that's a janky looking Hawaii, but it'll have to do. I had to put them in here somehow. Sometimes I'll do like a test before I run a simulation like this. Um, I didn't do that here though. So I'm kind of terrified this is gonna go horribly. So we're gonna go extremely slowly as pretty much everyone recolonizes the globe. This is uh, kind of horrific to look at. We already have Florida taking over all of Cuba. Puerto Rico is gonna be in a really good position to take um, all of South America because they just got here first. Hawaii is gonna be stuck on their islands. Oh, I need to rename them. Meanwhile, the first war is broken out between Kentucky and Missouri. Of course, the landlocked states are gonna be fighting a lot because they have to try to escape. Pretty much this is gonna be a coastal game unless you just got really unlucky. For instance, South Carolina got chopped up really early on. They pretty much are only expanding to there. So did Georgia. Some places did not get as lucky as others. Is California gonna beat out Hawaii to get down? I don't think they are. Uh, so because New Mexico's trapped, of course they're gonna move in after Texas. Now is Texas dedicating a lot of their resources to colonizing the globe? We have our first death. Missouri was just conquered by KFC land. Why do I keep thinking this is called Kentucky West? It's just cause wow, what's going on with West Virginia's borders? Those are ugly. Maine is looking great to colonize literally all of the world right now. Unless someone, okay, someone just died. Oh, Massachusetts took out the smallest US, US state, uh, Rhode Island. No, wait, I'm sorry. Massachusetts was conquered by Rhode Island. Also, New York just took out Vermont. Okay, this is pretty scary because uh, we're starting to see some really big powers grow here. It's all like Puerto Rico and Maine, basically. There's also a couple of alliances forming, but not too many. Uh, these are different alliances, even though they decided to share the same color for some reason. I'm a little bit terrified of the implications that are happening. Oh, wait, who is that? Oh, I forgot to delete the Solomon Islands. Okay, sorry, guys. Bye-bye. I thought somehow somebody, like, you know, remember, we're living, we're playing, like, on a flat map. I thought somehow they figured out we actually live on a globe. We can't have that, can we now? Maryland was just conquered by Delaware. Now, interestingly, there's still a lot of time to take out um, Puerto Rico and Maine. Also, their capitals are really close to all the chaos. Keep in mind, as well, the sea doesn't really give them any power. Puerto Rico, by far, is the strongest nation on Earth right now, and that is for now, because uh, Maine is going to get a lot of Europe soon. Funny enough, Florida actually super blocked Texas here, which then ended up blocking them because of Puerto Rico too. The northern states kind of look like Canadian provinces at this point. There is going to be a crazy battle for Maine and Puerto Rico, and the problem is, when one of those nations dies, all hell is going to break loose to try to get up the remaining land they left behind. Oh, look at that. Rhode Island actually just declared war on Maine. They did peace out, though. Ohio was conquered by West Virginia, giving West Virginia even uglier borders. And then Virginia was conquered by New Jersey. They had to do some weird jump. I don't even know what these borders are. I don't know what I'm looking at at this point. It's gross. I'll tell you that. This is going to be really funny to watch because it is very likely. It's not even likely. One of these two powers is going to die. And if you're Florida, you're really rooting for Puerto Rico to not make it. And if you're New York, uh, you're really... Actually, maybe if you're New Hampshire, because New Hampshire could technically cut off New York. And then there's going to be a new power that grows. That's probably going to continue to happen. It's going to be like this snowball effect. I didn't even realize DC was in the game. Oh, that that is DC. DC is like the city state and they're going after West Virginia. Oregon was just conquered by Washington. So there's a little bit more sea territory they can eat up. Alaska's trying to chomp their way through Minnesota over here. And again, Puerto Rico and Maine continuing to go after all of the globe right now. This is crazy to see the borders like line up around the Sahara Desert. And it's also going to continue. I think this line is going to continue all the way through India, through Southeast Asia. Hawaii just declared war on Texas, but they don't have really a lot of room to fight in. Utah was just conquered by Idaho. The alliances are getting a lot more crazy. Interestingly, Maine is not in an alliance, but Puerto Rico is. Puerto Rico is chilling with Alabama, West Virginia, and Illinois, I think. Or no, that's Kentucky. No, no, no. Those those colors are just very similar. Ooh, Florida is trying to single-handedly fight this alliance by themselves. Florida would. I am not surprised. And Alabama has been eliminated. And just like that, so has Puerto Rico. This is terrifying because now there's a massive lobster power growing out of Maine. I say lobster because they really like lobsters. The thing is, their capital is so close to New Hampshire. They could easily be taken out. Maine is going to be all too powerful, but here comes Florida now. Florida's going to get all of South America, that's for sure, but that's probably it. Actually, they probably not, well, they won't even get all of South America because they're going to get stopped in Brazil. Iowa was just conquered by Nebraska. There was also a small revolt in Wyoming. So yes, revolts can happen. Maybe that'll happen in Maine. It's possible that Puerto Rico actually comes back. <laughs> this is seriously terrifying to see how huge they're getting. Come on, New Hampshire, you have to do something here. You have to stop this crazy uh, authoritarian power. Maybe it won't actually be New Hampshire. 
Hampshire. It looks like it's going to be New York and a couple other friends. And there you go. They are dead too. So because they're these, I think because the nations aren't setting up other cities, once they lose their capital, it's over. There's actually maybe more stability inland. Weirdly, I'm just now realizing because you can have more cities and you become an empire that way. I think that's exactly what's going on here. Like maybe Puerto Rico and Maine were huge, but once they lose that initial starting city, it's over because they didn't take anyone else over. So now there's this new golden age to take on maze all of this well florida now it looks like is going to be the strongest power oh my goodness look at north carolina squeeze through they're going to make it too. that that is the most incredible thing north carolina is actually going to get a little piece of africa because of this also this is new jersey that is pretty much going to cut off new york new york's going to get a little bit of greenland but that's it hawaii is now fighting against arizona louisiana was just conquered by mississippi mississippi is also friends with kansas kansas what are you doing way down here i don't really want to know man oh man look at that north carolina they're they're gonna get stopped but hey look at look at that piece of africa they got whoa wow is that worth it again new york got some stuff actually weirdly look at alaska go all the way around and they're gonna get a little bit of nordic land i think now we have pennsylvania being conquered by west virginia west virginia is still going so delaware was conquered by dc dc i can't even really see dc and then arkansas just took out oklahoma i'm sure texas likes that georgia just took out south carolina so the north is the only one that remains Ooh, now everyone's going after, uh, oh, who just died? Uh, I think New Hampshire is probably next to die. Uh, it was Rhode Island that got taken out. That's all New York really has to do. Man, I really love this yellow New Jersey color and Florida even, like, spreading across the globe like this. It's getting really interesting. This is horrific to look at. I, I do not like to look at this. Oh, Hawaii got taken out, which, that's good, because I honestly didn't know how to change their name for some reason. When did they make it so hard to change the name in this game? I thought I just had to press this, whatever. Even more alliances are popping up. The big alliance, or the big nation of Florida is allied to Georgia, Kentucky, and Illinois. Meanwhile, New Jersey's cool with just New York and North Carolina. Yeah, the teams are now going to start to play a very interesting factor here. So Florida is actually already being invaded. It's Texas and Mississippi leading the charge to take out this great power. They're very close. So Arizona just lost control over Hawaii. I think I gave Hawaii too many islands. Well, Hawaii has a lot of islands. California got all of that. California's allied to Nevada and Washington. Florida is very close to maybe losing their capital. Man, and New Jersey and Florida still out here trying to colonize. New York looked like they were trying to take out Alaska. Alaska is still alive. They did get cut off. They didn't get any Nordic land, but they got most of Greenland's, and that's that's a lot of territory. Nebraska was just conquered by Kansas, and Minnesota's conquered by Wisconsin. Meanwhile, Wisconsin's still going after Illinois. Florida is not looking so good. They are one tile away from being destroyed, but I think Florida has... No, maybe not. I thought Florida had another city under their control. So this is how the world borders are going to look. Florida's going to have Australia. Meanwhile, uh, the great nation of New Jersey is going to have most of Eurasia. The vast majority of Eurasia, actually. Connecticut was just conquered by New York. We also have everyone trying to go after... Are these guys at war? Yes, they are. Nevada's trying to keep up this weird revolt out of Wyoming. Now Alaska's going in after the New York-New Jersey alliance. Pretty much the Northeast team. Weird that Florida hasn't done really much. I think Mississippi's honestly kind of spooked them a little bit. Oh, Florida... Florida is funding Illinois, though. Oh, that's right. They're allies. Of course, they're going to do that. The world has finally almost been colonized. We'll see if Florida can survive when they finally... They have to still get to all the way to New, Jer New, New Zealand. Sorry. New Jersey. There's a lot of news in this world. This is going to be extremely interesting because if Florida does fall, Texas is going to reap most of the benefits of that. Again, Alaska trying to move around North Dakota. Meanwhile, Washington and Montana getting into it. Interesting that like the regional states have kind of formed these separate teams. New York, New Jersey, the South, the West. Interestingly enough, New York is kind of just allowing New Jersey to take first place here because they're the ones on the front line kind of defending all their territory. Wisconsin was just conquered by Alaska. Now Alaska is getting into it with Montana. Georgia was just conquered by Mississippi, bringing Mississippi even one step closer to Florida's capital. Florida is still allied to these states, but they're not helping them out. Oh, there was actually a revolt inside of New Jersey. Michigan was just conquered by New Jersey, too. New Jersey also conquered West Virginia. New Jersey's got a lot of states. You can't just take New Jersey's capital, I think. You gotta take a lot of their territory to actually make them capitulate. Mississippi's a very rich nation, surprisingly, so they can fund a pretty big war against Florida if they want. Meanwhile, as I say that, the uh, their neighboring state, Arkansas, was just taken out by Kansas, and I was making fun of Kansas for why were they existing so weirdly? Huge war happening in the Canadian provinces up here. Montana very close to taking yep, they took out North Dakota. Montana's looking really big now. Well, so is Alaska but they have to squeeze through this, through this alliance somehow. There we go. Finally, Florida finally the big war has happened. I knew, actually I wasn't sure if it was going to happen but here it is. Florida versus New Jersey and they've just peaced out so never mind. It's going to happen again. It's going to have to happen again. But what does Mississippi and Texas do? Because they're the ones that can benefit from the collapse of Florida. Alaska might just come down here and wipe out all the Pacific 
Pacific states, to be honest. It's actually California that controls Hawaii. Oh, a big revolt just actually happened. Oh, what? Wait, what is this? Well, New Hampshire and Delaware just revolted from New Jersey, but they're really, really tiny. And then Wisconsin is now back, but again, these are very small revolts. Doesn't mean that they, these people can't come back. There's some states that can make some crazy comebacks here. Illinois was now conquered by New Jersey. New Jersey's just like driving through and taking out a lot of these smaller places. Come on, Mississippi, you're my neighbor birth state. Oh my goodness, New Jersey's having some insane revolts. There are so many. They're really tiny, though. I don't think it's making much of an impact. Wait, what the hell? Whoa! Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's something big. That is basically Russia. Oh, wow, the rename button was right there in front of me. Okay, you are now Russia that just revolted out of New Jersey. This is a Russian New Jersey. New Jersey should be a lot stronger right now, but man, this was a massive Russian revolt. Something else just revolted. I don't even know. Again, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna worry about it. Most of the world is covered in the New Jersey gold, but there are some chances maybe of a Russia-Texas alliance. Is anyone cool with Russia? No, nothing right now. We now see a Serbia that just popped up, and they took over a large chunk of uh, Europe. New Jersey is not ready for this. Uh-oh. I think New Jersey might have just died because the game just froze. Something really bad happened, clearly. Oh, no. It was just a massive revolt from uh, this. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I love that I had to delete them, and then they just came back. Right, you know what? I, now you guys just need to win. You have to win now. You, it's it's your destiny. That is too funny. The game froze because the Solomon Islands appearance was just too powerful. Texas is trying to conquer California and Nevada uh, with... They're not directly on teams, but they are kind of working together here in this fight. Oh my goodness. How did Alaska survive that? Big war. So New Jersey does not like the existence of the Solomon Islands. I do though. Everyone is now attempting to destroy the New Jersey Empire. Look at these teams. This is such an interesting alliance with the help of Texas back at home. Oh no, is Mississippi finally going to collapse to land? I was kind of liking the like the small little Mississippi power that could. Mississippi deserves more respect, even if they're kind of like, you know, my birth state's rival Alabama. Did New Jersey just die? No. Where did New Jersey move? Oh, they moved their capital to Europe. Oh, Serbia just got integrated into Russia. New Jersey does not have that much money. This is the craziest game. Because of the revolts, Mississippi is still around somehow. And the, oh man, every time there's like a giant war, my computer feels like it's going to explode. And this alliance of Texas, Russia, and the Solomon Islands finally take out New Jersey. Never thought I'd say that in my life. Land is starting to get really big. What if land won? That would be weird. Here we go again. Once again, the world, it's going to have to be Russia that takes the New Jersey capital. Obviously, they're the ones that, the, that are the closest. New York just will not like break the alliance. New York just wants to continue to aid New Jersey weirdly. Maybe that'll finally stop. Oh, New Jersey. Uh-oh. Is this it? Did they run out of money? Yes, they did. New Jersey finally ran out of cash. Now, how much is everyone going to get before the peace deal or do they just take out New Jersey? I, th I think this finally might be it. The collapse of the New Jersey. It's, it's, it's got to happen one of these times. I was going to say... <laughs> All right, now the world is in for a very interesting treat. Oh, North Carolina's still kind of in it. They're going to get a lot of Africa. Holy crap, this is a massive Russia that's just forming now. Texas is not that fast at colonizing, so they're not getting nearly as no enough. Texas is trying to defeat land for their homie Mississippi. Ooh, big war for Texas and uh, against New York. Land was finally conquered. Alaska is also still in the fight, but they just don't have the right friends, really. Although, maybe they do. Is that Texas? Is that... Oh, you know what? I think it's Russia that's supporting Alaska. It's father and son again. Russia supporting their old former colony. They would because I'm assuming Texas and Alaska are now big rivals. Sorry, Texas and Russia. Actually, no. They're first trying to take out North Carolina. California just united into Washington. So we're going to start to see more and more uh, unitions happening. United? United? I don't know. Nine nations left. North Carolina just collapsed. They've got no money. Texas looked like it was actually going to collapse there, but they've got a lot more money. Oh, New York is about to run out of money too, though. Russia has a lot, but they have been spending a lot in efforts to try to control what's going on in the States. Meanwhile, the Solomon Islands playing really quietly over here. I wonder what they have up their sleeve. Bam, there goes New York. Not surprised about that. There is now seven nations left. Mississippi is definitely going to integrate into Texas any moment now. Maybe the same for Washington and Nevada into Alaska. I don't I don't know. Solomon Islands really supporting Texas a lot. Holy crap, the Solomon Islands are giving like all their money to Texas. So is Russia. So it must be some sort of like alliance because they all fought New Jersey together. They're sticking by the friendship. They're still big homies. Now who's actually going to win this though? That's going to be the fun part. Mississippi did integrate inside of Texas, and here probably, man, Alaska still has a lot of money, though. Someone just united. Oh, it's Solomon Islands united into Texas. It's gonna be Texas versus Russia. <laughs> of course it is. There are three powers left, and technically speaking, Russia still has way more land than Texas. Man, that'd have been hilarious if the Solomon Islands won, though. So Alaska is probably going to ally to 
Maybe Russia, but I, I don't know. Technically, Alaska. Oh, wait, no. Texas is super rich. Way more rich than both nations. And here's the final war. My computer can barely handle it. I'm not even really sure why. It's only two nations. It's Texas versus Russia. How American is this? And unsurprisingly, because Russia just doesn't have the money, um, they're, they're not going to win this. I saw the moment they, they only had like 2,000 gold. It's like, well, Texas has 100,000. They can just fund a massive war and, and end it. Man, I swear, I don't know what it is, but somehow Texas always wins these state battles. I don't understand. I mean, I do get it, but it's weird that even the AI simulations get it. Big thanks to my patrons. Destiny. 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John. Girl. Denver. I'm the kidnapper. Jack, Jack Traven's the annoying friend. Friends. Friends. This Inquisitors. By Aries. Aries. Good old Caleb. Caleb. Australia is real. Book. I am not a paid actor. Luxembourg. Patrick Dye. Subscribe to Drew. Ralph. Seven. Six. Become a patron by checking the description down below.